To many people who are looking to study a Bible, they will try to use a interlinear Greek text in order to show what the Bible in English should say. They will naively call it the Greek, assuming this is what the original autographs say. This is most often due to the various Bible translations and their differences, in order to reconcile the confusion. The issue is that the lexicon that they are turning to is typically a revision of one of the many Greek texts. Here I will explain the two categories of Greek texts and what supports them. Received or traditional text. Syrian slash Byzantine text type. Erasmus, Biza, Stephanus, Colonnaeus, Elzever. From the line of Syrian manuscripts that originate from Antioch, where Acts 11 verse 26 shows is the first place followers of Christ were called Christians, was continued through the Greek Orthodox Church and other churches like the Waldenses. This line of manuscripts makes up the overwhelming majority, with 99% of the 6,000 plus manuscripts being considered a part of the traditional text. This was then used as the foundational source of the Christian Reformation Bibles of Martin Luther, William Tyndale, and many more that became a reference for the King James Bible, along with prominent Greek texts as the Textus Receptus by Erasmus. Critical Text Catholic slash Alexandrian text type Bentley, Hug, Dueds, Maze, Mace, Benjel, Griesbach, Semler, Harwood, Alter, Birch, Lockman, Tregels, Hort, Wordsworth, Nessel, Souter, Aland Metzger. From the line of Catholic manuscripts that originate from Egypt, where God repeatedly tells his people to leave, was accepted by Constantine as authoritative for his 50 ecumenical Bibles, prepared by Eusebius, a pupil of origin. This line of manuscripts makes up the absolute minority, with two Alexandrian codexes, Vaticanus and Sinaiticus, and also papyri fragments from Alexandria, determine the critical text. The accredited founders of the critical text were Westcott and Hort, on which Greek texts like the Nessel Aland text are based on, and is where nearly all new versions come from. It should be noted that the new translations typically resort to Catholicism's Latin Vulgate for reference, where Erasmus's Greek text is outright rejected by institutions like the Vatican, which is often consulted in these new translations. Take this into consideration when someone says, the original Greek says, and always respond with, which one? Most of these scribes, <coughs> I mean scholars, will say that only the original autographs were inspired, and that there is no way to know for sure what was originally written, which defeats the whole purpose of making an authoritative new version. It is the belief of the quotations King James onlyists that God has given his perfect word for the English speaking world, as translated under the orders of King James I of Scotland, during the most crucial time of the Christian Reformation. The one side says, the word of God has been preserved, i.e. King James Bible, and the other says, the scribes, <coughs> I mean scholars, will find the word of God someday. Romans 16 verse 18 For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple.